So the post-holiday struggle is really real, guys. If you're anything like me, recovering from the holidays can be a bit of a struggle, especially in the first few weeks of January. Catching up with family and friends, epicness during the holidays. But when you have to transition back into the working world, back into your real life, it can be a little bit challenging. So if you're interested in hearing more about my practice and how I recover from the holidays, keep watching. here today. So today I'm going to talk about my physical, mental, and spiritual practice to recover from the holidays. The first area I focus on is my mental well-being. So what I like to focus on is making sure I get enough sleep, which is a huge issue for a lot of us. I do a, di a little bit of a digital detox. I turn off my phone on airplane mode when it comes to trying to get good rest at night. I also try to cut down on my social media because over the holidays, we're all showing and talking and you know looking on social media to see what everyone else is doing but really when you're trying to recover from the holiday it's probably a good idea to take a little bit of a break from the social media to get your mental well-being back where you need it to be another thing that I like to focus on and this seems a little bit luxurious but I actually do do it is I get a massage I get a therapeutic massage not the kind of lux luxury based massage but I get kind of a massage to work my muscles and get my body back into kind of its correct positioning and posture and I actually do this monthly but these three areas taking a little bit of a digital detox and cutting back on social media getting a massage and also making sure I'm getting enough sleep by going to bed on time drinking a little chamomile tea and just turning off my electronics with enough time to get enough sleep work really well when I'm trying to get my mental well-being back where it needs to be after the holidays the second area that I focus on when I'm looking at recovering from the holidays is my physical well-being and the first thing I look at when I think about my physical well-being is the food and the nutrition that I'm putting into my body over the holidays what do we do we eat everything in sight carbs sugar alcohol all that good home cooking food I am Jamaican so we have some really good rum cake and Christmas cake that I definitely ate every single time somebody offered me a slice but when I get back and trying to get back in January to get back into the group of things I cut down on sugar I cut down on carbs and most recently I've been looking at incorporating more plant-based diet into my routine so normally I don't eat red meat but I do eat chicken fish and a little bit of pork from time to time but as I'm recovering from the holidays I will try to cut down on my meat intake and do a more plant-based diet another thing when it comes to my physical well-being that I try to focus on when I'm recovering from the holidays is getting enough exercise I usually like to work out at the gym. I know some people like to run on the road or some people like to work out at home. But for me, for me to really get in the zone, I really like to work out at the gym. I literally get on the treadmill, put in some dope music that really gets me fired up, and I just run as much as I can on the treadmill. And it puts me in this kind of meditative state a little bit, and I really can get a good workout in when I focus that way. Another thing that I do at the gym and that I make sure I work back into my routine is weights. Absolutely 100% necessary for both men and women to incorporate physical weights into their training uh, regimen. So I know sometimes women don't like to think that they're gonna get bulky or anything like that, but you will not get bulky, trust me. You have too much estrogen, so it is really important if you wanna see your body give you the results that you're looking for to incorporate weights into your routine. So for my physical well-being, it's definitely nutrition and then making sure my exercise is back on point daily or at least every other day workout is there and the final area that I focus on when I am recovering from the holidays is my spiritual well-being and when I start to focus on my spiritual well-being I try to incorporate meditation back into my routine so I know meditation can be an intimidating topic for some but for me yoga and meditation kind of go hand in hand and really meditation is only about really silencing the mind and silencing that inner self-talk for a bit so that you can have a little bit more clarity in making your decisions and going on in with your life there's a ton of information about meditation online and 
on YouTube, so I won't belabor the point, but I think it is very, very, very helpful to learn and to practice meditation, to learn how to quiet the mind and not let so much of the digital information overload that we get every day to really shift how we think our think of ourselves and how we're speaking to ourselves internally. And I find that meditation really helps me to analyze how I'm speaking to myself and make sure I'm keeping my negative self-talk or my positive self-talk where it needs to be. And it also helps me to maintain focus and clarity when I have to make decisions or when I'm going back to work and getting the ball rolling. Also, when thinking about my spiritual well-being, I think a lot about reflection and gratitude. I think if you're anything like me, we spend a lot of time working on our goals and expecting to accomplish them, but we don't spend a lot of time actually being gracious and grateful for accomplishing our goals. We spend so much time focusing on it that actually when we accomplish it, we just see it as, oh, yep. Check, to, check that off the box, I expected to accomplish it. But I think at the beginning of the year, it's always very important to look at what we actually accomplished during the year and look at what it took to get there and really incorporate a practice of gratitude into our lives and go into the new year with a sense of, of gratitude and humility about what it took to get to where we are in life. Those are the things that I typically do to recover from the holidays, to make sure that I am and moving forward towards my greatest self. I hope these tips helped you guys. I also wrote a pretty in-depth blog post about this very topic. So if you're interested in reading a in a little bit more detail about my practice, check the description box below. And I think you guys might enjoy that if you enjoyed this video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me comments and questions below and I will see you guys again in my next one.